What's up everybody? This is Don DiBiase here and um, I'm the guitar player for the band Gatlin. And uh, Gatlin has been around, as you all know, for 20 years since it is our 20 year reunion. And um, starting at this point, since we're less than two weeks away, um, myself and a few of the other members are going to start kind of chiming in here and talking about some of their like favorite moments in the band and, and everything. So I figured I'd go first and uh, John and I and Warren and Dave started the band back 20 years ago. And um, you know, some of the best times of my life have been in that band and um, some of the craziest times as well, you know. Uh, but I have to say some of our most memorable moments, you know, showcasing for record labels was a big one. And um, also, you know, some of the member changes that we had was interesting because we all kept friends. And um, Dave and I are still really close from the beginning, no matter what, we you know we've been big wrestling fans. We'd watch wrestling all the time, and um, still to this day, he'll come over for holidays and everything. And um, you know, I have like a little a little moment in time with every single lineup since I've been involved. You know, with every single lineup um, since the beginning. Uh, Pat and I went on to play in Unsaid Fate together for a while, and then at times in separate. Um, Mikey and I, Mikey helped me tear down my second studio and, and, and helped me, you know, get involved in my new one that I'm in now, the one that you see in the background here. Um, so <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Warren um, was uh, wrote a lot of the songs with me even before John came in. We had a whole other lineup that involved other people, but once once the pictures were printed, once the first record happened, was the war, you know, was the lineup that everyone knows on the Get Nice Steel record. So technically, Warren and I were there. Um, a while prior when we had Eddie as a drummer and, and a guy named Eric singing for us and a guy named Nick, who was like the best chef of all time of, of right now. Um, you know, all those guys were kind of involved and then, you know, just kind of smoke cleared. It was just Warren and I, and then, you know, John came along and then that's when it kind of really started moving. So, um, for me, after everything I've done, once Gatlin was over and then we formed APG and then I went on to produce a lot of records and everything, I think the biggest thing for me for this show is coming up is kind of showcasing where we are now as people more than even musicians. Um, 90% of everybody got married and a few people have kids now and everything. It's so cool to see all that. And, um, and, and for me, I think I'm excited most to see everybody again in one room. Almost like, it's not like a show to me. It's going to be like more like a party, you know? And, uh, I'm really excited for everybody to see some of the new surprises that we've got, some of the old school antics that we will always do. And um, as long as John Drake doesn't give away the farm here uh, in his interview and what he wants to say, we've got a few tricks up our sleeve that I don't think anybody's going to be expecting 20 years later. And that's what I'm most excited about. I just want everybody in one room to have a good time. That's why we made it a free show. So, um, you know, Saturday, January 24th will be a night to remember. I guarantee it. Can't wait to see you all at the Gatlin show. And T minus roughly, gosh, 10 days, 11 days, something like that. I don't know what it is. I don't even really know what day it is right now because I've been working so hard on this. But I'm, I'm really excited for it. And uh, I know you guys will definitely enjoy it. So until the show, we'll see you guys soon. we got some more surprises coming even before the show. So keep posted on our Facebook page and um, all our personal pages as well. All right. Talk to you guys soon.